one, two. Right, check one, two, and we're good. Check, check, we're good. Good luck. This isn't going to, is this going to get played on something, or is this just to transcribe it into text? No, we're going to, we're, we're going to. No, no, right? So this is going to air on something? Okay, so try not to get too much hand noise. I actually. Okay, so. This is Dominic. I'm Michael. We're with Matt. Uh, maximum Threshold Radio. We're here with the Trailer Park Boys. Maximum Threshold. So, did you guys have to sneak across the border, or did you officially come across officially? There was a little bit of sneaking. A bit of sneaking. I officially came across the legal proper way, where I gave them my passport and came across. I don't know what they did, and I don't care. Oh, I did the same thing. I mean, my passport and my name. Maybe a little different. I don't know. I've got a really, uh, I got a guy who's got a really good laser jet printer, so he's able to like make documents. Oh yeah, that's all you need to beat the customs guys. A good laser jet. They don't know how that. They don't spot that at all. Are we here, bubs? Yes, it works. Laser jet. So, without completely giving it away, what would your alias be? If you allegedly had a forged passport, my name on my passport is Michael Greenman. Well, you're name, official. You're official. Sir. My real name's on there. And that's my business. My name is Johnny Rambo. I'm John James Rambo. That's a good handle. <laughs> Great formula, too. <laughs> Maybe. It's never over. It's over, Johnny. It's an evolution. So, tell us what's tell us what's new and going on and exciting in the in the trailer park boys world. That brings you here to Tropical Cleveland. We actually got a lot coming down the pipe. We got well Julian arranged for the cameras to come and follow All us. Alright, okay, so we got a we got a movie coming. We're gonna shoot a movie. Two movies. Two movies. We're going to shoot, we're going to jail soon, so we're going to shoot five series in jail. Uh, there's another series uh, that's animated when we're fucked up on edibles or mushrooms. And uh, that's about it for now. And Julian has a new weightlifting show coming out called Pump It. Pump It? Yeah. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. Is it anything like the late night Skinamax um, that all gentlemen of our age used to have to watch through the squiggly lines and stretch our meat so it looks like a bicycle grip. Is it anything like that? No, it's nothing like that. It's going to be actually, uh, you've got two cameras that are going to be following me around. I'm going to show people how to, like, uh, I guess, gain muscle. It's just him and a... Just him and a bunch of fellas getting oiled up at the gym, oiling each other up and pumping weights and pumping other things. That sounds like the kind of party me and Dom really enjoy. Especially Dom. He was in the Navy for a while. Gotta do what you gotta do. It's pretty big. I mean, do you ever have to just manhandle people when they get out of line? All the time, man. I mean, that's why I did it. I was bullied back when I was a little kid, so that ended. That's a sort of like, you know, getting bigger, so. Anybody out there getting bullied, go work out, go after them, take them down. Did, being up in Canada, did you ever have to uh, beat up an elk or a moose that got out of line, like in your backyard? Oh, I tangled talk, with a moose. I talk to Ricky. I've fought the odd wildlife animal. Yes, Ricky's fought a number of them. He's actually, he tried to fight a bunch of alligators down in Florida. Yeah. They were a little freaky. They got a lot of teeth. I want to fight a shark. I don't know, when you get up close to a shark, I don't know. Maybe a small shark. But a moose, moose is a dumb animal. I got into it with a goddamn moose. Well, it's here. What happened? Oh, I was just out in the woods getting, you know, I was tapping a tree to get some maple syrup. And a big bastard came up behind me and tried to fucking hook me to death. I had to run away from the moose in Maine. That's a true story. I believe it. I got out, it was about 3 in the morning, I was driving down the old airline route, I had to take a pee, and as I'm peeing, all of a sudden I hear these grunts and this thing starts charging up my vehicle. You know, they like the smell of piss, that's uh, what it is. Apparently it was a mating thing or something. Yes, piss drives them wild. You ever try to hump on you? 
Oh yeah, that moose was gonna bang you, Ricky. Thank God I got away in time. And he was probably gonna get his lips wrapped around your wiener. <laughs> so, so moose do? <laughs> what a moose do when you're pissing. Thank God. I don't know, like, in, at least in the, the western part of America, like in the Rockies, I don't know about it in Canada, but the moose up there really like to get frisky and they're really into giving people brim jobs. Is that, is that the same for the Canadian Jesus. moose? I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know enough about it, but I mean, that would be, that'd be quite a thing because moose tongue is about 14 inches long. So he could really do some damage if he was trying to. That's a deep prostate. He, he's got 14 inch cock, but he measures from the top of his butt crack. That's right. He comes up and under. I just forgot his that's dog. A, that's, right. a, that's a slapping. I wasn't paying attention. All right, good. Okay. You know, teenagers don't pay attention. So. <laughs> I'm just making sure Larry, I'm the only one that's in England. Trips like that. Oh, I hope so. That would be fantastic. We love it over there. That's true. Yeah. Hopefully, we haven't, we haven't toured for a bit. The whole COVID thing kind of messed everything up. So we're hoping to uh, hoping to get back into it. Yeah. What do you What do you want? What do you want from me? Yeah, we, you know, we especially like places like Dublin, Ireland. It's, we feel like home there. It's like it's a great place. We like to drink all day, all the time, every day. I like jolly old London, South. I like London. I like all of it. I like that. Yeah, I do too. Actually, I like all the countries you went to. Sweden was fun, and Finland, yep. Norway. Norway, Amsterdam. We lost oh. Ricky. <laughs> Amsterdam is awesome. Although it's not as cool as it used to be, because now everything's legal in Canada too. But it's still pretty badass. Yeah. Everything's legal in Canada. Yeah. Well, any, any talks about you know, being more camp retreats? Any what? Any camp retreats? Can't what? Can't cat be. retreats. Yeah. Oh, uh, cat retreats. Yeah. Kitty cat hotel. Yeah. Well, I mean, I would if Rick would stop destroying these fucking things on me. It's nice. had nothing to do with any of that. I've been thinking about opening another one, but you know, I gotta do it right this time. But I've been thinking about opening a very high end cat, you know, a cat hotel where cats can check in on their own like, without supervision. You know, they show up and I check them in. They have like all IDs. I could do that. I could break something up. Now, would you use that fancy name? Pretty kitty litter, or would you go like old school? No, tiny that's cat? toxic. Is it? Yeah, she don't need that shit. Oh, maybe not that stuff. I don't know. That's the stuff that's supposed to like change different colors if something's wrong. That's the Martha Stewart stuff. Yeah, but I think it's, I don't think it's. Yeah. I don't think it's made of normal stuff. I think it's alien material. I don't think it's legitimate because I sit in one of those box, kitty litter boxes and it said I was pregnant. Jesus. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not pregnant. Something's not working there, I don't think. Yeah. So I think it's all fake and it's all hipster fancy bullshit. So I just wanted to make sure in your cat hotel you weren't overpaying for that. Yes. So other than that, what do you guys all have planned on moving and doing like prevention of things as well for this year? We don't plan a lot in advance. Right now we're just planning for the weekend and yeah, we're going to go to the Fan Expo. We're definitely going to hit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yes, and Fan Expo this weekend. we got to get people there. The people need to come. And we found out like Chef Boyardee started here, so we want to... Does he still have a restaurant here or no? No, Ricky. No, what sucks? Sold that years ago. He makes a really good Chef Boyardee. He makes a good can of What's the Guinness book for how many, like, for cans of Chef Boyardee ravioli? There's got to be a record. You should do it. You should do it in the. I don't know. There's a lot of good eaters. I know. No, you can, man. You can oh, you on some edibles. You can eat a lot more than on cans. I don't know if that. Can you get edibles here? Yes, you can. Is it legal here? Yes, with the card. <laughs> what? It's fucking okay. get a card. Unless you smuggled some in in the prison. Wallet. I did not. No, I thought about it, but I wasn't allowed. Bob's. Yes. 
Like you got the printer. You can make one. We got a laser jet at the hotel. It's legal. They call it's called the business center. They have in hotels, like the one we're staying at. We can totally do a laser jet. Downstairs. Yeah, we're downstairs. Your mama's got a business center. Your mama's a business center. Your mama's a business center. She's actually no, she's out of business. She's totally free all the time. <laughs> can't stay can't stay in business when you're giving when you're a product free, away. Don't free. stay in business, buddy. It's called being it's not no, it's <laughs> So <I'm> we, <laughs> since Cleveland actually was where Chef Boyardee was from. What last one? I would suggest trying to do that challenge with beefaroni instead of the ravioli. Oh yeah, beefaroni? I'm in. I also heard that I also heard the phrase "rock and roll" was created here. Is that true? It wasn't no. created. I think the the, no. the phrase was coined here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. The phrase. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 it was a radio was DJ, wasn't it? Yeah. Alan Freed. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I think it was related to the chef. He chef was also the lead singer of Glass Tiger. No, no. no. Yes, Rick, he was. That's Alan Freed. Oh, okay. Different guy. Different guy, Rick. I think it's the same guy, but because he was a time traveler, he had to change the pronunciation of his name oh. so people wouldn't be wise to him. See, to me, that makes sense, but I am drunk and undressed. <laughs> well, we're being, we're being told to wrap this up. Can you guys... Son of a bitch! Tell us, give us a website or any kind of social media so everybody can follow you guys. That's a great idea. I'm not that smart, but... Uh, well, swearnet.com is where you want to go. That's got everything that we do. And, then, and when you get there, it'll show you how to get to all of our other Instagram and TikTok. And we have all of the socials. All of them. Very high tech company. All right. Anything else to add? Uh, I want to like, put everything together, so please come to those sites and uh, check it out. Come to the come to the fan expo and say hi to us. We came all this way. We want to see some people. Goddamn right. Because if you don't, you're just being dicks. We so travel pretty far. That's right. We love Cleveland. We haven't been here for a while, so please come out. Appreciate it.